At the top first on four, a seventh person is set to be charged in connection with the home invasion turned cop shooting in Edinburgh last week. They're accused of forcing their way into a home demanding drugs, cash, and weapons. The officer who was injured in the gunfight is recovering at home tonight. For the first time, a young father relives the horrifying ordeal he and his family endured when those suspects targeted the home they rented. Yeah, tonight their story and their believed motive for the attack. We agree to protect their family's identity. Photos of bruising. He kicked me around this area right here. Bullet holes. <laughs> and blood-stained floors. Cops just start showing up. The nightmare for an Edinburgh family began around 11 last Thursday night with this ear-piercing bang on their door. Like, just, they just, you know, just bang, loud bangs. In an instant, armed men are in their rented home on South 20th Avenue. As I turn in the hallway, I just see two men um, covered up with um, hoodies and they had like some sort, some type of bandana, like a biker, the way bikers use, and just pointing guns. The 24 year old tries to run. And the guy comes and puts an Uzi on my back and just tells me to get the hell inside or he's gonna kill me. He's hit in the head with a gun. Fears race through his mind about his elderly mother, wife, and two young daughters who were also in the home. He told me, get down on the floor. I got down on the floor. I was laying down on my stomach. I put my hands up in front so he could see them. And he's asking me, where are the drugs? Where's the money? Where are the guns? And I'm just telling him, you have the wrong house, bro. The armed suspects don't believe him. They aren't leaving without the goods. Attention turns to his wife, who's hiding in another room, secretly calling 911. So he tells me, you better get her out of there or I'm going to start shooting. Put your hands in the air, throw yourself to the floor and just tell him, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. My kids are here, my kids are here. By the time an Edinburgh police officer arrives, a shootout ensues. One cop is injured. Six suspects are eventually jailed, with a seventh awaiting formal charges. It's believed the family's landlord, who now lives in Mexico, may have been the intended target. If you could say anything to the person who you rented that home from, what would you tell him? He's a freaking coward. He's a coward for letting us get that place, especially if he knows that there is somebody looking for him or he did something wrong. He's coward for putting my family in danger. The case remains under investigation. Now, the victim had his wallet stolen. It included money needed for their upcoming wedding in June. They're currently living in another apartment, hoping to get their life back in order. On my Facebook page, I posted exclusive pictures from my story tonight. To find me anytime and share your story ideas with me, just search Ryan Wolf. I'm also on Twitter.